Hello again, NASCAR fans. Tyler Digger, 2020 Productions here, and welcome back to the 75 Greatest NASCAR Drivers of All Time. If you weren't with me yesterday, I covered the first half of the original 50. Today I'm going to finish it up with the other half. So let's get started right now. The second half begins with Terry Labonte, a two-time Cup Series champion in 1984 and 1996. Up next is Fred Lorenzen, who started his career as a mechanic back in 1960. And back then, he also had several nicknames as well. Now we have Tiny Lund, winner of the 1963 Daytona 500, three-time Grand American Series champion, and 1973 Grand National East champion. Here's Mark Martin, who has 40 career wins in the Cup Series, not to mention 49 Xfinity Series wins. Moving on now to Herschel McGriff. ARCA West champion in 1986. Up next, we have Cotton Owens, winner of nine Cup Series races, including the Daytona Beach Road Course in 1957. Next is Marvin Panch, winner of the 1961 Daytona 500. Now, here's Benny Parsons, Cup Series champion in 1973 and winner of the 1975 Daytona 500. Here's the Silver Fox, David Pearson, Rookie of the Year in 1960, three-time Cup Series champion in 1966, 1968, and 1969. Next is one of my favorites, the King, Richard Petty. Rookie of the Year in 1959 and our second of three seven-time champions this week. He has 200 wins, over 100 pulls, and over 1,000 starts, ladies and gentlemen. He now works for the Legacy Motor Club. Here's Lee Petty, three-time Cup Series champion in 1954, 1958, and 1959, the year he won the inaugural Daytona 500. Now we have Tim Richmond. Winner of the 1986 Southern 500, who passed away in 1989. Here we have Fireball Roberts, a seven-time Daytona winner. This includes the inaugural Firecracker 250 in 1959, and of course, the 1962 Daytona 500. Now we have Ricky Rudd, who was Rookie of the Year in 1977. Now here's Marshall Teague, who was best known for bringing the fabulous Hudson Hornet to NASCAR. Herb Thomas is up next. He was the first driver to win two Cup Series championships, those two being 1951 and 1953. Up next is Curtis Turner, winner of the 1956 Southern 500 and the first ever American 500 at Rockingham in 1965. Here's Rusty Wallace, Rookie of the Year in 1984, Cup Series champion five years later. He also worked as a TV broadcaster and was best known for seeing right now during a race. Now we have Daryl Waltrip, three-time Cup Series champion in 1981, 1982, and 1985, and winner of the 1989 Daytona 500. And most of all, He's best known for his world-famous catchphrase, Boogity, 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 let's go racing, boys! Whenever a race starts. Now here's Joe Weatherly, a modified tour champion in 1953. He was also a two-time Cup Series champion in 1962 and 1963. Moving on now to Bob Wellborn a three-time convertible division champion from 1956 to 1958. Up next, Rex White, Cup Series champion in 1960. Here's Glenn Wood, who many of you guys might recognize as the owner of Wood Brothers Racing. Now here's Cale Yarborough, 
a three-time Cup Series champion from 1976 to 1978. Our final driver in the original 50, Leroy Yarborough, ladies and gentlemen. He was the first driver to win three crown jewel races in the same year, that year being 1969. Welp, there you have it, folks. The original 50 greatest drivers of all time. Tomorrow, I'm covering the new additions, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta watch the Xfinity Series race in just a few minutes, alright? But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and hey, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel. And also, if you guys are new here, just click on that notification bell and never ever miss a single upload. Bye bye everybody, and until next time, this has been Tyler Digger 2020 Productions, signing off.